Hi, Bill Essler here from Woodworking Network, coming to you from IWF 2012. I'm here with Todd and Frank at Black Brothers, and we're going to get a little background of the company and find out what's new. Hi, Black Brothers Company has been a leader in roll coating and laminating technologies for over 100 years. We're standing here in front of our 775 glue spreader, the current workhorse of our product line when it comes to flat laminating. And it's also used for many other applications in wood and non-wood applications. Uh, stop by our booth, we'll tell you more. Can you tell us a bit about what's new? Yeah, in December, Bill, we purchased the Shaw Almex 3D press line uh, for the woodworking. And we're now going into the 3D pressing equipment. We have three lines of presses. And Ed's going to tell you a little bit more about those in a second. OK. I'm here with Black Brothers Ed Strahada. Ed, what's new in 3D? Well, what, what's new, Bill, is we've got our line of vacuum presses. And I've got Todd and Frank here. They're going to show us a demonstration of how this machine runs. So I'll just explain the cycle as they run the machine. Okay. Starts with, we have our parts set on the bed, and they're going to pull the vinyl full foil over the tray of the machine. Make sure that the vinyl's all nice and flat, then they'll seal it off with the upper frame. Once the tray is sealed, the operator will put the tray into the machine manually. Once the tray is in, he's ready to initiate the cycle. No, just stay where it is. At the beginning of the cycle, the machine is going to bring the vinyl up to the t preset temperature. Once it's that preset temperature, you'll see the lights start to go on and off as it's keeping in that temperature at a consistent level for a period of time. Once the vinyl's to temperature and it has been soaked with heat for a period of time, then the vinyl will be drawn down around the parts in the press through a vacuum. And then you'll see the parts as they come out. When the vacuum cycle is complete on the machine, you'll, you'll hear a buzzer right here. Now we're going to go into a cooling cycle to allow the vinyl to cool down. And actually, we can bring the tray out for that cycle. Frank. And here we have the finished parts. Uh, and we'll just, we'll just close out this segment. Well, Ed, that looks like a, a pretty straightforward process. Are you doing anything unique with 3D? Well, Bill, I'm glad you asked. We are, uh, as we speak, in the process of a redesign of our, of our positive pressure machines. And uh, we're taking the, uh, all the strengths that we purchased from the Allmix line and incorporating our, our strength as Black Brothers Company into that machine. So we're making some changes to the machine to kind of make it unique to the marketplace. And when will we have a chance to have a look at that technology? Well, it's interesting that you ask. We're, we're having an event at our factory uh, late this fall. It's going to be our 2012 3D Fall Forum. And we'd like to invite all the viewers to join us for that event. If you have an interest, if you're in the 3D marketplace right now in manufacturing, or you have interest in that marketplace, or you're a supplier to that marketplace, we invite you to follow us either on our Twitter feed, Facebook, Google, uh, at Black Bros Co. Or you can send us an email to info at blackbros.com and we'd be happy to keep you in the loop. Okay, well that sounds really interesting and something we'll look forward to. Thank you for joining us at Black Brothers at IWF.